All right, in this video, I'm gonna be replacing the logic board on my garage door opener. My garage door opener says it's Mastercraft, but it is actually made by a company called Skylink. So this is the logic board. So the problem I had was none of the remotes were pairing. If you go on the Mastercraft website and look for reviews for this thing, 50% of the 50 reviews or so are about not pairing and this logic board frying. So it seems pretty common. On the one hand, I'm a little disappointed that a garage door opener or logic board would burn out and actually the backup battery is also toasted as well. I'm not sure if that's related or not, but it's it doesn't work anymore. It's a fairly new product, maybe two or three years old. It came with my house. I'm kind of happy because they did send this to me without a receipt, although I didn't tell them it came with my house. So wasn't entirely upfront with them, but they did send it within a couple of days. So I'm kind of happy about that. So I've already unplugged the garage door opener. Like I said, you can see this has Mastercraft. If you have a Skylink, they're usually white. I think they say Atoms on the side or something. They look exactly the same. So first thing I'll do is take off the battery backup. Like I said, doesn't work, but I did say it's a two year old model and they said the battery is only warrantied for one year. The instructions for this aren't very clear that they send you, there's no pictures or anything, but there's only one screw in the back and you don't need to take it all the way out you just need to have it loose enough that it'll slide down so slides down in the back and then the whole thing comes out there's a little couple little plastic clips on the front this is a three-quarter horsepower belt drive model now it is difficult to hold a camera stand on a ladder and use both hands so all i'm doing here is removing the wiring that goes to the wired remote and the wiring that goes to the sensors on the door. So I sort of erroneously take out these screws first because it doesn't, like I said, there's no real great instructions. You actually don't have to take out those screws because the metal bracket comes with it. So you can see the metal bracket there. I've already taken out that screw. The screw I really need to take out is that one right there that holds it to the top of the garage door opener. And there's one on this side too. So I did take out two extra bonus screws. Doesn't really matter. I'm throwing all that stuff out anyway, but there is the little metal brackets already on the logic board that they sent me. And then once the bracket screws are out, sort of just hangs off the wiring. You can see there's two bundles of wire in the back and all the bundles of wire are different except for two of them. Two of them are identical, so you do have to be a little bit careful with which one you plug in where. And the, uh, the ones that are the same are for the alarm and for the lights. So I'll show you that once I get everything taken off here. So nothing really special about this. Just remove the wires and there, nothing's like locked in place or anything. It just sort of pulls out. I'm not really sure if those capacitors actually hold a charge on this thing, but I would be careful not to touch the business end of the capacitors. The new one is the bottom one and you can see the metal brackets on each side. And I had to stare at this thing for a very long time to figure out what the difference is between the new logic board and the old logic board and all i found was that one capacitor right there is different so so on the old one is gold new and silver on the old one it seems to be a 25 volt and on the new one it seems to be a 40 volt so i don't know if that's the fix for this problem but this is the only picture they sent me so i labeled the light and the alarm with uh, the marker but everything else is different so there really is no way to confuse it but those two are the same. So back out to the garage and just start plugging in the wires. Pretty simple. Again, make sure the power's off when you do this. Don't drop it. Try not to touch all the circuitry, that kind of thing. But it is, it is pretty much plug and play. And I didn't have to take the entire garage door opener off or remove the belt or anything like that. So overall, pretty happy with, with how this went. So I guess I'm gonna have to see how this works to uh, before I give a, a real opinion of the Skylink as a company and garage door opener. Obviously I wasn't too impressed having remotes that wouldn't pair properly and that kind of thing. But as mentioned, I was pretty happy with how fast they sent it and really they, they charged me $15 for shipping, which isn't you know out of hand considering I didn't have a receipt and I didn't even buy this thing. I actually just came with the house. So. Right now, I'm just tying the wires together for the sensors and inserting them into their spots where they were. And I've cut down the wired remote wire a little bit. 
shortened it up and then just reinstalled that. No real trick to that, it's sort of just putting everything back in place. And then for this plastic cover, it just goes in on the front and then sort of slides in on the back and then you tighten that screw up, that's it. And I, I put the battery back up in and then plug it back in. So I guess the real bone of contention that I still have with this is that the battery backup doesn't work. I figured perhaps changing the logic board would actually get the battery backup working again. Not the case. So I'm probably not going to buy another battery backup, but I might rip that thing apart and see what's going on with it. Maybe it's just a, a big stack of corroded batteries or something. So just going through the pairing process. Yes, my garage is a disaster. And there's no way this remote would have worked before with the old logic board, but there you go. Garage doors opening, go a little further away, garage door closes. And then I do it one more time right out on the road, see how far I could actually shoot this thing, but it works pretty well. And then the other remote that never paired was this uh, digital keypad and it's good to go now too. So I was able to get it to pair first try, works perfectly and everything is good. I did go through a bit of a range of emotions with my Skylink products here. Not sure I would buy one again. I don't think a, a logic board and a backup battery dying within two years is really what you want out of a garage door opener, but customer support was good. It's just this battery, so I don't really care about the backup battery, but I'll see if I can get it working. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.